Hey guys, uh, Yishan with the Yu-Gi-Oh Club at UCI here, coming at you guys with a Crusadia OTK Kaiju Sky Striker, sort of the way Crusadia were meant to be played style of deck. I know Crusadia is really popular. Every time I post a video about um, Crusadia, um, I learn a lot of things. Uh, and you know, when I'm going experimenting the deck, and a lot of people like it. Um, so if you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, show me that you want more of this, um, and I will gladly provide um so this is going to be more of a deck profile with some basic combos i'm thinking about doing some more advanced tips and tricks with this deck um but i could do that in another video for now i just want to show off what i think uh what i'm building my crusader deck with so i've got three maximus of course um the best one it doubles damage which helps you otk a lot that's where a lot of the otks come in um so you've got to run three of it really like the new rarity uh so yeah beautiful um Three Draco, a really, really good card. It, it keeps your advantage up. It just adds a Crusadia from deck to grave. Um, I will go over the basic OTK combo at the end of this video. Um, so if you're new to Crusadia, they all have this ability where they can special summon themselves to a Link Zone. So these two, this one can target a Link Monster, give your Link Monster do double damage that turn if it destroys a monster or if it battles with a monster. This one, when it's special to a Link Zone, um, it can add back a Crusadia from your graveyard to your hand. Through Eclusia, the third best one, it pops upon summon, um, and so that is very powerful because, you know, you're going second deck. A very common combo with Reclusia is Triple Arborea. Um, Arborea is like a Balings for this deck, and it's a tuner, which doesn't really matter in this deck, um, but you can use Reclusia too because it pops itself, or any Crusaded card you control and a card your opponent controls, you can use Arborea to save that Crusaded card that you pop. And then last... Um, but not least, Triple Leonis. Um, unfortunately, it's not hollow, but what can you do? Um, it comes in, it's pretty good. You need to play as many Crusaders as you can in this deck. And um, he's the weakest one because he gives piercing to one of your Crusader Link monsters, and Maximus gives double damage. Um, but it does come up sometimes. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I got there. Uh, I got three Hand Traps, three Ash Blossom. Uh, I'm a fan of Ash Blossom in this deck because your goal is not to stop their plays completely. So you're not trying to play like four, you know, five hand traps to stop their plays completely, but you want to hinder them so that you can easily OTK them. You need your opponent to have monsters to easily OTK. And so I like Ash Blossom for this purpose. Plus it's nice and cheap and it's pretty good. Uh, and then I run six Kaijus. I run a lot of Kaijus um, because this deck, Kaijus is just good against most decks. Um, it stops one of their negates a lot of the time great against striker great against salaman great great against everything great against thunder and then you what you do is you use this in your combo to help uh kill your opponent so i'll go over that combo later in the video um we've got three crusadia power uh, it's for the spells. So a lot of people only play one of this because it can be searched off by Regulex, which is one of the Link Monsters in the extra deck. However, I am I think that's a big, big mistake. You should definitely be running three of this card because the problem with playing back removal in the main deck is that it, it's not great. Um, it can be dead sometimes, but this stops everything. It's And this deck needs to play through some negates. So after testing and lots of testing, I'm convinced that Crusader Power at three is correct. Try it for yourself. Um, it's definitely, definitely good. And then for the other spells that you can search, one Crusader Testament, one Crusader Revival. Uh, so Revival gives all your Link Monsters 500, and then you can, or all your Crusader Link Monsters 500, and then you can target a Crusader Link Monster and it can attack all monsters your opponent controls. Great effect. Um, one Crusader Testament, um, basically it's got two effects. One of them, you can stop your opponent from responding to your Crusader summons. And then secondly, um, which I use it more often, is you can add it to draw a bunch of cards. So what you do is you you add that off Regulex, and then it, when you when your Link Monster, Crusader Link Monster, destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can activate it and draw cards equal to its Link rating. So for example, if you have a Link 4, you draw 4, or Link 3, you draw 3, Link 2, you draw 2. Um, so solid, I grab these quite a bit as well. Um, power, you want to hard draw though, right? Because you, you can search it out, but you want to hard draw because they're going to interrupt your plays before you have a chance to search it out. Um, and then you search out these depending on if you can ODK or you just want to get a ton of advantage. Uh, and then for these spells, I play Triple Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage. Uh, very good. Horn Drones is extremely good in this deck. What it allows you to do is it allows you to Kagari, do proc, 
uh, to help you link climb so it gets two special summons of effect monsters by itself. This can also search out other cards like Widow Anchor and Jamming Waves. Uh, I play these two. These are my only two striker cards. This is just good because, you know, a lot of times your opponent just ends on one back row. So if you can afford it, you can just engage for this. Um, pretty rarely dead. And so Widow Anchor, same thing. It can help get out, get out of the gate if you need it. Um, and also good to search you going first. Uh, for the rest of the deck, we got two Desires. Um, and then this is just really good in this deck. You have one ups, but they're not super important, and so Desires is fine. This is like Ash Bay, just, uh, but if it resolves, it's great. Um, you know, you're looking to draw maybe like uh, Powers with this or something to help you out. Uh, and then we got one Rota, and then uh, Monster Reborn Wall of Succession. Uh, this one searches out Arborea. Like I said, you want to play as many Crusades as you can, and so I'm not lying about that, so I even play 16 Crusaders, this deck's pretty consistent. And then Monster Reborn, Relic Succession, just great extenders. I, I run this because it's a decent extender and also it search, can be searched by a card in your side deck. And then Monster Reborn is just the best extender if they somehow pop your, stop your normal summon, boom, Reborn, keep going, just the best extender. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, let's go on. I, I just want to talk really quickly about why I don't play Mech Knights. A lot of people play Mech Knights, I'm just not a fan. They basically are sort of like vanillas, almost, and then they're better going first, but you don't really, I mean, you want to be having different cards in your deck going first. I don't think for a blind second deck, you know, you're not trying to grind out advantage with this deck. You can, but that's not your main goal. Your main goal is just to ODK, and, and Mech Knights can help with that, but I think the Striker engine is just miles, miles better. Um, okay, so with all that being said, let's get into the extra deck. So three Magus, the best one in the extra deck. Link one. If something special to it, you search any Crusadia. Um, link two, if something special to it, you search any Crusadia spell and trap. And then link three, equal max, the really important one, you can point to your opponent's monsters, which allows you to do tons of damage. So all the Crusadias have the same effect they can gain. They gain attack equal to whatever points to it, basically. Um, and then uh, the link four, I play one Aver max. This card is really good with the Testament. to draw a bunch of cards, um, helps you out stuff. Uh, so it can be very good. And then one Spatha, uh, very key for a going first combo, uh, because it helps you move stuff to make a Sayuja, I'll go into that later. It's one of the combos I'll show. Um, and also just good because you can move stuff under to, you know, to some, something where your equal max will point and then allow you to do an OTK that way. Um, and then of course we have the two striker monsters. So Kagari is the first one you get off Horner Drones. The second one is Kaina. Why do I like Kaina? One, it's good in time. Two, it helps you chain block. It also points down, which is important for extension. There's a lot of tricks with this deck. I will, if you guys want, uh, let me know and I will make another video with all the tricks that I've learned so far with this deck. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, so then those are the, I think, necessary, along with the one star you did to perform a combo I will show you going first. Uh, and then for the other links, they're, they're, these are like flex spots. So I'm running right now, I'm running one Phoenix, which comes up every once in a while one Link Spider and one Security Dragon. So this one is for like tokens, um, you know, helps you spot with someone in Fetch Monster. This, you can bounce Kaijus and stuff when it's co-linked. Not sure about Security Dragon, but I haven't found anything better. If you guys have suggestions, I will be happy to look into that. Okay, let's go into the side deck real quick. Um, let's go to the really standard stuff. Uh, we'll get three twins up in here and then three Nibiru's. These are just really solid cards. You know, if you're playing against too good of a combo deck, you just set this. It's good against Sal, it's good against a lot of things, good against Thunder, um, and then three twins as well. So if you're, you know, you're planning on staying to go second. Um, however, you know, if you decided, you know what, I gotta go, that, you know, my opponent's probably gonna make me go first. I just OTK'd him. We've got two Crusadia traps to help you with that. So you can use regular to search these out. This one lets you tribute a Crusadia to special Crusadia. So what you do is you could tribute a non a Crusadia that's not Reclusia and special out of Reclusia and you'll get a pop. Um, if you want to be a little more, you know, this this does use a lot of resources. This one, Crusadia Crawler, you literally just special it to a zone, you know, for example, where Equimax is. And then Equimax uh, can use this as a negate as well as when it's special, you can search out a World Legacy card, most likely World Legacy Succession, to help you with that play. Uh, and then for our going first, the rest of our going first is we run three Kyoto Waterfront and a Terraforming. I will show you the combo with this later, so I'm going to keep one aside. We're going to do some combos with that. And then three, there can be only one. Just hits so many going first decks. I want to play Red Reboot, but um, it's just 
there's not that many background decks and this this guitar just hits like everything hits solid hits orcus it's it's okay going second because against a slow deck it's pretty good um and so yeah i, I really like that can be only one um won me so many games okay so i'm going to show you guys two basic combos the first one is going to be uh two crusadia monsters and two or three crusadia monsters and a kaiju as the otk so we'll have a kaiju and we'll have two or three Crusader monsters. So I'm just gonna grab this one, this one, and this one we'll just grab. I don't know, we all seems cool. Okay. So uh, I'm just getting all these Crusaders. You don't really need all of these for the combo, but so it's any if you have if you can do it with two Crusaders, if you have a um, Draco or a Maximus in your hand, then it's two Crusaders. If you don't have, you need three distinct ones. I guess I might as well just take out the Reclusion now. Uh, and what I mean by three Crusadias is actually you need a Crusadia and some extenders. So for example, Engage and any Crusadia is already the combo without uh, Draco or Maximus. So I will show you the ones with Draco and, or Maximus and uh, the nothing else. Okay, so let's say you open this, right? So first you Kaiju your opponent's monster. So I'm going to kaiju that right there. Okay, so now what's important is you have to normal Maximus first because we, you can only special the Crusaders once per turn. And so what you're going to do, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add it back with Draco. Okay, so we're going to normal Maximus. Uh, we're going to link it off into our um, Magius. Uh, if you want to skip this combo to see the Waterfront combo, which you may not know, you feel free to do so. I know a lot of Crusader players already know this combo. If not, I'm just going to teach it to you guys. Okay, so you special the other Crusader. Maximus, go ahead and search out a, or sorry, Maggie, search out a Draco from your deck. Boom. You link these two into a Regulex. Okay. And then you can go special Draco, chain link one Regulex to add something back. Uh, chain link two Draco to add the Maximus to your hand. Boom. So what you're going to add off the Regulex is gonna be your field spell. Now what you need this for is the 500 attack, right? You actually don't need this if you have another Crusader in your hand that you can special, because then, you, like for example, if you had another Crusader, you just need this for the 500 boost. So we'll activate it, and then we will link these into an Equimax, uh, which is gonna gain the attack of um, the Kaiju. So then we can special the Maximus, Maximus effect make it do double damage. So basically what we can do is we can ignore the Kaiju's attack because we're gaining it, right? So we got 36, 41, we're doing 4,100 damage, doubled 82. Uh, that's an OTK. Now, for example, if you didn't have a Kaiju um, and you had an extra Crusadia, all you would need to do instead of making Regulex is you make a Spatha instead. Spatha move the monster that they have into a zone that Equimax points to, or that will point, Equimax will point to, and you can just combo off from there. So there's uh, many ways to do the combo, but this is the basic one you want to look out for. I just want to show off the power of Hornet Drones real quick. So any Crusadia and a Hornet Drone. So we'll just like Leonis because it's useless, right? And go a lot of the time. We go normal Leonis, boom, make Magius, activate, um, and engage to get a Hornet Drones, right? So we grab Hornet Drones, boom. We activate Hornet Drones, special out a token, link the token, into Kagari, uh, chain link one, you can even chain block with this, right? So chain link one, Magius, add back, or add something, chain link two, Kagari, add back the drones. We're gonna add Maximus with this because we have to grab Maximus for the OTK. So we'll add Maximus, and then we'll have a drones in our hands, right? And then we will link these two into uh, the good old Regulex, fun stuff. Regulex, boom, we go. Another one we can go, oh, so we have the Kaiju, right? So we have to have the Kaiju in this hand. So we'll have Kaiju them, right? And then we'll go uh, drones into Kaina this time. Now we go Kaina, we go Regulex, chain link one, search, Kaina, chain link two, target the Kaiju. So we've played around Ash both times. We've got our thing. We could just grab our field spell again. So where is my field spell? I threw it off to the side. Grab our field spell. Again, we make a Equimax. We special, we double attack, we activate the field spell, and then boom, that's game. So that's the basic combo I wanted to show you guys. I also want to show you guys a going first combo. Um, so if you guys want to see that, I will show it to you now. Um, so here we go. We get rid of everything. So basically, this is just two Crusadias, and you open a waterfront. 
uh, any two Crusaders and you open a waterfront. Um, and then I'll also show you guys the basic going first combo as well. If you just don't open waterfront. Okay, so if you open waterfront, it doesn't really matter what you normal or special first. Uh, if you, you don't want a normal Draco first because you want to search Draco. Um, but if you have one, so if you have two Crusaders and none, well, let's just, yes, okay, we'll go normal summon, right? Or, or we activate our waterfront. So waterfront one has three more counters. You can search a Kaiju from your deck. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to bother putting counters on it because it'll be at five by the time this is over. So we go boom into Magius. One counter, special Leonis. Uh, and grab our Draco, right? Okay, so now we link these two into Spatha, right? And special Draco, this is at three counters now, right? So we special Draco, we add back the one we didn't special summon because we can't special summon them twice in a turn, so I think I normaled, I don't remember which one I normaled, but let's just say I normaled Arborea. Okay, and then now we have three counters, we can search out our trusty friend Ganseal. Ha, ah, now you see where this is going, right? So now, um, oh sorry, and also you want to use Spath's effect to move this out of the way so that you can special out your other Crusadia. Boom, link it, now you all five counters easily. Um, you'll grab a Saryuja Skulldred. Uh, where is my Saryuja? Right here. Boom, Saryuja. It'll activate the effect to special gamma so, so now you have two negates on the first turn with this. Let's say you don't open Waterfront, right? Let's just say that you don't open Waterfront. Uh, what are you gonna do, right? Well, there's a very standard turn one Crusadia play, and it's as follows. So we go um, normal V Arborea, link it into Magius. Again, this happens a lot. You'll notice Magius comes out a lot. Special Leonis, grab Draco, boom. Link these two into a Regulex. And then special Draco, Chinnick 1, add Mega Boreo, Chinnick 2, Regulex, search, whatever you want here. So I'm going to show you, the. you can search either either trap. Um, I'm going to show you the most in the gates. So I'm going to search you, the, the Crusadia Vanguard. Okay, so now this one, so this one you need the Arborea with. But if you don't, you can always search, you know, if you don't have any Nick Cinders, you can just search Crawler. I'll show you the difference in both, in both combos. Okay, so then either way, you're going to link these two into uh, an Equimax here. Okay, so Equimax. Now, if you have, you know, for example, an Arbor, you can special this and set the Vanguard. Then on their turn, you have a pop by tributing this and special summon Reclusia, and then Reclusia effect to pop something, and then you can save it with Arborea. That way you also have a negate. Um, you can do this if you have extra Crusaders. I'm just showing you one of these combos. If you don't have any of this, you can just, you know, you want to play a little safer, you just grab a Crawler, set the Crawler, a on their standby or a draw phase, you flip it to special it here, and then when crawler is there, when a crawler is special summoned to a link zone, you grab a nice world legacy succession. So you have an agate plus an extender for next turn. So it depends on how good your hand is and how much you want to extend or not extend. Um, that's it, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and I will see you guys next time. If you guys are interested in a tips and tricks video, please let me know, and I will gladly do that.